I'm anal and forgetful. That's a bad combo. That means I like my stuff where I like it, and I don't know where it is! But I'm pretty sure it's your fault. I've had to answer some very interesting questions in my marriage. Very interesting questions. Greg, why? Greg, why is there a burrito in the baby's crib? And while that is a very good question, all I can think is, oh God, don't let there be a baby in the microwave. <laughs> My wife and I played a little game when we got married. Little game. I do not recommend it. I do not recommend the game. It's called free pass. Do you know it? Here's how the free pass game works. You're married, so you figure it's just you two for the rest of your lives. Just you two having sex, that's it. But if you had a free pass, who would you pick? So this is like 10 years ago, so I pick J-Lo. I enjoy the thick. I do, it's awesome. And my wife picks George Clooney. Fair enough, standard issue, George Clooney. Good looking dude, whatever. Life moves on, right? Forget about it. So about a year ago, my wife comes up and she says, I got a new free pass. I didn't know we were playing still. I'm horrible at this. So I said, well, who is it? Now, do you guys watch the American version of The Office? Do you watch that show? The Office, what a great show, huh? So she says, I like John Krasinski from The Office, the guy that plays Jim. And I'm like, all right, fair enough. I mean, it seems like a downgrade from Clooney, but go for it, that's fine. If you wanna take it down from a 10 to an eight, go for it. And then I forget about it. So about two months later, I'm in New York City and I'm at a gym there. I'm at a gym at a hotel. I'm at a hotel called the Soho Grand and I go down to the gym to work out before the show, and who's in the gym? But my nemesis, John Krasinski, in the gym. Now he's a fact. He's a fact, not a concept, he's real, and he's good looking in person. He's a good looking dude, tall, like 640, right? <laughs> he's like 15 years younger than me, tiny little pores, and he's on the treadmill running like a gazelle. <laughs> so of course, the only other treadmill that's available to me is the one next to John's. So I get on the other treadmill. Now when I run, I run at about five miles an hour. Don't laugh, it keeps me alive. So. Yeah. And I look over at his treadmill and he's running at seven five. And all I can think is, <laughs> you're not banging my wife. When I, when I, Hard, hard, okay? Now, 7.5 is faster than I can run. It's faster than I ever have run. It's faster than I would run if I was on fire, right? <laughs> but I figure he was running when I came in, so how long is he gonna go? 20 minutes? I played rugby in college. I'm not a total pussy. I can do this, right? So we start going. We get to 20 minutes, and the gazelle shows no signs of stopping. <laughs> does he stop at 25? No, he does not. What about 30? No, 35, no, 40, no. He runs for 45 minutes, okay? At 45 minutes, I'm alternately grabbing onto the handrail while my legs shoot out behind me. I get off the treadmill, and I, I can't see. There's no air in my body. It's like someone's been taking flash photos of me for an hour. I'm just like, oh, God. But John starts lifting weights. And all I can think is, you're not banging my wife. So I go over to the bench, I grab the weights, and at the same time I sit down, and when my head hits the bench, I look, and I realize that I've misread them in the mirror, and I am holding two 50-pound weights. <laughs> when my fists hit the floor, it sounds not unlike a cannon. Boom! <laughs> and that scares John, so he looks at me, and I see him see me, and I don't want him to think that that's not what I meant to do. So to sell it, I go, yeah! <laughs> yeah. 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 How about it? Yeah. So now I have to get one up, because he's looking at me. So with every fiber of my being, with all of the strength that I possess as a man, I go, whoosh! And I get the weights to right here. And I don't know if I jarred something loose when I was running, <laughs> or if, because most mornings I prefer a bran.
there was a sudden violent <laughs> shift in my gut and in my bowels and in my intestine, and everything goes whoo, whoo. <laughs> It's bing, where there you have mail. <laughs> and all I can think is, <laughs> go ahead and bang my wife. We're in their face, you know what I mean? All week, you know what I mean? It's so fun, man. But it's only one thing that bugs me when I talk to people all the time, man. You, you ever talk to somebody, man, they spit in your face while they're talking, right? They see the spit and keep on talking, like, hey! We both saw this come out your mouth. The United States of America is broke and has bad credit. White people panicking, black people like, we got this.